um, when dentists start thinking about the CAD CAM, the first thing that comes to their mind is CIRAC. And CIRAC's been around for about 20 years, but most dentists don't know that there was life before CIRAC in the CAD world. And there was a wonderful man named Francois Dure, who had this idea many years before CIRAC even thought about it, or Siemens or Serona, whoever they are. And uh, how early, when did, when did you decide to think about this CAD CAM, and what year, and how did you think about this? Yeah, first of all, uh, I think about CAD CAM uh, 10 years before the CIRAC. And uh, incidentally, I'm very surprised every time that the people say uh, CAD CAM is CIRAC. CAD CAM is not CIRAC. CAD CAM is just a part of the uh, CIRAC, is just a part of the, of the CAD CAM. I start the imagination of the CAD CAM in 1917, Christmas. I remember very well. And, uh, but uh, because I was very young, I was 22 years old, I need to prove. Uh, what I say, when you are 40 years old, you can say, I can do, and everybody follow you. But when we are just 22, you need to prove. <laughs> and this is why I work very hard between uh, 1970 to 1973. And I present my DDS on the CATCAM, and the name was Optical Print, in French, Empreinte Optique. Optical Print. Uh, and it's a 300 page, uh, more than 300 bibliography reference. And I describe all the steps of the CAD CAM, print, uh, optical print, uh, CAD design, and the milling, uh, by subtraction and by addition too. And uh, were you able to actually build a device? Uh, after that, uh, uh, during the eight years, I work uh, very hard to find uh, the scientific solution for each step. And I introduced the first uh, prototype in 1982. Uh, and I make a demonstration in Congress, and CIRACs don't exist at this time. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is why sometimes I'm very surprised about uh, the CIRAC equal CAD CAM. But you, uh, at that time, you, there was no personal computer, there was no PC, there was oh. no Mac. So how did you come across uh, computing power for this? Uh, that's a good question, and this is a family question. Because I was very lucky, my uncle was a, a manager of IBM company in France. Oh. And, uh, and uh, this is why I was able to know about big computer. And this uncle was very supportive, and uh, he said to me, that's the idea, you need to follow that, and I will help you. But just for the story, the first, uh, the first source that we did, it was with a paper, and we make some hole inside the paper to do the first uh, software. Really? For the CAD oh, CAD. so like a paper, it was the paper, the paper uh, yes. that went through the computer. It was and called, I, I remember uh, that. Before and we discussed with like, the like computer the, like, like uh, punch cards before exactly. that Exactly. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> early on. And then, uh, as if we move the clock forward, you, you actually built this machine and presented it. Uh, I believe, two, well, I know you presented in the U.S., but was it, did you present it before the U.S.? Yes, I presented it in uh, Paris. Uh, the, uh, first of all, I presented the prototype in Paris in 83, exactly. 83. 83 in Paris, 82 in Lyon in 83 in Paris. And I made the first crown in Paris in 85. But it was very important because I did this crown in front of the dentist, not in laboratory. I bring the machine in the convention, in the FDI convention, the FDI, uh -huh. and I make the demonstration on two hours. Uh, there are so many dentists, 800 dentists, it was incredible in France wow. <laughs> to have this number of dentists in front of the French TV, the German TV, and uh, um, the, the crown was done, uh, I see, not really nicely, but it, the fit was okay. Occlusion was okay. But you, but, proved, uh, you proved that you could do this. Exactly. I proved to the dentist that it was possible to do a crown back at CAM. That's amazing. And, uh, and three years later, uh, in 88, I did that in Chicago during the midwinter. The Chicago midwinter? Yes. In 1988. Live demonstration, two hours. Include uh, occlusal, uh, shade guide, uh, electronic shade guide and uh, electronic movement of occlusion in front of the dentist uh, directly live demonstration. And then at that point the site was Siemens at the time I believe was working on their process also and uh, somehow they got to the forefront before you did. I don't know what happened there but uh, so now, now that we've seen what happened today 
we saw the lava, the lava uh, COS system. And how does this? How, what do you think of this now? This this evolution. Oh, personally, um, during uh, the meeting, during this meeting, it was very emotional for me. You know, when you invent a concept, uh, it's very curious because you have no reaction until you find what you would to find. And I promise you, this morning, during your demonstration of the lava and the scanner of the lava, I say, it's done. <laughs> and that, that was my reaction. I have some, uh, some reaction, on, really, it, it was incredible for me because the dream was here. And uh, I really appreciate that because, for me, the impression was a movie. We take the movie no matter what, but no system was able to do that before, and you did that. And uh, I know you spoke with Janish from uh, the Brontes company, and he's, he is in awe of you. So uh, you can be mutually, mutually in awe of each other of what you've accomplished in this whole uh, dental field. And where do you think this will go? How, do you think, how far do you think this will go? Oh, for me, um, there are no doubt about that. Uh, the, this system will grow up and grow up. Uh, your team is very open. You, we can discuss with him that the team is open. And for the success of the future, it's very important. When we discuss with your engineer, for example, they want to know, uh, they never say, oh, yes, perhaps, uh, but you are not uh, right. No, they are very open, and uh, it's so positive, and this is why I'm sure about your success. Born too early. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> but um, lucky I was 22 at the start. <laughs> That's true too. That's true too. You've seen a lot of things in your career. Well, this again, Francois Dore, uh, the father of all CAD CAM, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, we are here at the 3M SB uh, meeting it's called Expertise, and I uh, thank 3M for having us come here, and uh, thank you for listening. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy and very proud to be here, and thank you for your invitation. My pleasure. My pleasure. In French.